what we're, we're seeing is not a neo-isolationism, but a tension between um, the need to actually pivot away from the Middle East to Asia, where, where the greater opportunities lie and the greater threats to American interests lie. And, and the, the way in which the Middle East somehow is like a quagmire that keeps you, sucks you in, sucks you down all the time. And Obama is more aware of that danger, I think, than Romney is. Romney seems to, to want to develop a whole new policy for shaping uh, the Middle East and shaping views in the Middle East. Uh, well, Obama tried that with his Cairo speech and that didn't work out too well. And if Obama, if Romney tries it, he'll discover the same thing, I'm sure. But the idea that energy independence means that we're no longer dependent on imports from the Middle East of oil or gas is something that is only just registering not just amongst the American people, but I would say within the foreign policy community. We're only just coming to terms with what that might mean. And by the way, it's not just only re beginning to register here, it's only just beginning to register in Delhi and in Beijing, where they are going to be a hell of a lot more dependent on Middle Eastern oil in the next five years. We're going down to zero in the next five years. They're going up to 65 to 70 to 80 percent dependence. And our Navy and our American taxpayers are going to be paying for our Navy to secure their uh, line of, of supply of oil from the Gulf uh, to their industries. That, of course, does serve our interests. But if at some point in the next four years, the president, whoever it is, is going to adjust to, to those realities. One, that, that we do not import any oil or gas from the Middle East, even though our allies depend on it. And two, that um, the American people won't, won't support going back to war in the Middle East, with the exception of Iran, but we, that's, that's about nuclear proliferation rather than about our interests in the Middle East.